A man is dead this morning after St. Pete police say he wouldn't drop a gun despite orders from Pinellas County deputies. Yeah, as we roll forward, police say it happened at a home on 42nd Avenue North in St. Pete. Look at that right there. That's near US 19. And that is where deputies went to arrest the man for domestic violence and a child abuse complaint. Ten Tampa Bay's Twilon Wynn joining us live from the scene this morning with the latest on what we know. Good morning, Twilon. Good morning. As you mentioned, this started as a domestic violence call, but we know those can end up being really dangerous. And this case here ended with one man being shot dead by Pinellas County Sheriff's deputies right here at this home back here. Now, police have not released the man's name right now, but they say he went to the home of his ex-girlfriend and her child and attacked them both before going back to his home. Pinellas County deputies then went to his home to arrest him, and they say when they got there, he was trying to leave. They went up to his truck where they say he had a gun. Police say they then asked him several times to drop it and he wasn't cooperating, leading deputies to shoot and kill him. Police say domestic violence calls often end up being some of the most dangerous ones they respond to. The deceased also told his ex-girlfriend that this may be the last night that you see me. So whether he was planning on committing uh, suicide or whatever, uh, but he did tell her that after he had uh, already got involved with an altercation with her and with her child. And this morning we have put in a request for that body camera video to see exactly how this all unfolded here. And we do know this morning the mom and her child are physically okay with minor injuries, but clearly shaken up after all of the events that unfolded overnight.